5 Weirdest Ways Animals Reproduce Number 5. Despite the birds and the bees being used as a gentle metaphor for sex, bee reproduction is actually pretty graphic. During copulation, when the male is ready to inseminate the queen, its testicles totally explode, killing him. Fertilization in insects is a little different than how it happens with humans. Once a female gets sperm from a male, they hang on to it until they're ready to lay their eggs. Males have the ability to reach inside the female there and scoop out the sperm of their competitors. Bees avoid this competition with their exploding testicles. This breaks the penis off inside the female, which seals off any chance of another male getting a mating with her. Number 4. Anglerfish bring being clingy to crazy new levels. The anglerfish that everyone thinks of, with a bioluminescent antenna-like structure and the incredibly scary-looking teeth, is the female. Male anglerfish are much smaller and look very different. Because these fish live in such remote depths of the ocean, it's hard to find one another for mating. When they do come across one another, they need to stick together. Literally. The male bites the female and latches on. Over time, the two actually fuse together, connecting their circulatory systems. The male, who isn't as good at finding food, gets his nutrition from the female. In turn, she is able to use his sperm when she wants to reproduce. Depending on the species of anglerfish, one female can have several males attached to her. Number 3. When it's time for the red-sided garter snake to mate, there's no messing around. A single female snake can be sought after by up to 100 males. Rather than line up in an orderly fashion for a chance at making their intentions known, things quickly get crazy with the formation of a mating ball in which everyone goes for it at once. Once she's done, the female will try rolling around in order to get the males off of her so she can make her escape. If the female isn't in good health, this sudden onset of attention can actually kill her. Number 2. Flatworms are hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both male and female reproductive organs. When it comes time to mate, it's a fight to see which one will take on which role. Because females have to dedicate time and resources to their young while the male can simply swim away afterward, being in the male role is clearly the most desirable. If a flatworm wants that role, they're going to need to fight for it. A mating pair will get in a duel with their penises, trying to stab the other one and inseminate them first. Number 1. Bed bug mating is no joke, and it's actually done through a process known as traumatic insemination. This cuts down on the amount of time they need to spend together, as males try to mate as often as they can. The male grabs a hold of the female, stabs into a special place in her abdomen, and inseminates her. This is traumatic for the female's exoskeletons, but fortunately, they evolved and have adapted ways of minimizing the damage and protecting themselves. Some male bed bugs can get a little too carried away and try to mate with other males. Sadly, they do not have the same adaptations as the females, and the trauma inflicted by the other male can be deadly.